All right, so here on the on the right we have the uh, results for the DYS SC2008-2300 and on the left uh, the DYS SC2205-2300 I thought uh, this would be uh, a good comparison uh, to make between these, these two different size motors as the, uh, these, uh, these would be used in the same type of uh, application in the same quad so with uh, the same props uh, same as the previous uh, test I ran on the 2550 version of the 2008 uh, well, I'm also noticing the same tendencies which is uh, the max thrust is uh, slightly lower but also the amps uh, the amps do uh, remain lower even as the as the load increases with the larger props uh, the amps uh, they, they still remain lower and they don't they don't climb as much as as with the 2205 the 2205 will ultimately make a uh, little bit more thrust but uh, the the amps the current uh, uh, those uh, also climb uh, even more more so than the uh, 2008 so so this is I guess the uh, where the 8 millimeter stator comes into play it seems that it's actually um, making more torque so it's uh, it's actually making the motor slightly more efficient uh, which was quite a surprise I, I didn't think it would uh, it would uh, turn out to be like that uh, also when I first tested the 2008 2550 uh, that was also what I noticed uh, the most right away uh, so as we can see with the uh, four inch props uh, there's not much of a difference uh, uh, of course the thrust is higher on the 2205 uh, and uh, not much of a difference but as you as we go as we go on with the with the larger prop like a 50 40 by 3 uh, then then uh, right here we're able to see that uh, there's not much of a difference in in max thrust only about 10 grams here 1235 versus 1225 uh, but we can see that the uh, the amps used by the 2008 uh, are lower actually so that was quite a surprise uh, also from the test that uh, uh, that quad map fly ran uh, he said he noticed that uh, the motor is actually transition transition response is actually quite fast so that was also quite a surprise and then uh, so as we also go higher on the props uh, to even a larger prop like the uh, 5045 uh, v2 uh, we're seeing about the same thrust uh, 1274 versus 1286 which is basically about the same uh, but as you can see the uh, the amps on the 2205 are much higher 35.4 versus 31.9 it's about 4 amps uh, it's uh, noticeable and then as we go to the 6 inch prop which is going to put the most load uh, this uh, 6045 HQ 6045 prop uh, those put a lot of load on the motors uh, and here again we do see the 2205 uh, getting uh, more thrust uh, it, it is uh, more noticeable about 50 50 grams but also you can see that it, it, it will need uh, about 8 more amps so that is that is actually also noticeable. So overall, the motor performed pretty well. Uh, it's uh, pretty cool that the manufacturers are willing to try out these uh, odd-sized motors, uh, like the 2008. Uh, in other cases, we've seen a 2306 size motor, a 2406, I believe. Uh, 1608 was a different size we've seen 1707 motors uh, the 1407 uh, which seems to be a good success uh, pretty good success for the uh, 
for the three inch props and the micro quads you know the 130 millimeter size micro quads uh, that motor is doing pretty well for that size uh, of uh, frame so you know it's it's good it's good to have uh, all these uh, these odd sizes that we you know we, we may think uh, they're not gonna do well or there's no use for them uh, in some cases in some sometimes that's the case but uh, in other cases we don't you know we don't know until we give them a try so it's uh, it's good it's good that uh, you know they test they test out the waters with these motors uh, uh, so anyway thank uh, that was the test for this motor uh, thanks for watching and uh, as always uh, uh, check back uh, I'll be posting more tests uh, pretty soon.